Hey guys, Kira's over here doing her plants. Shh. You okay? Hey, all right. <laughs> um, I'm setting this up for Kira. She's been running tests, lots of tests. I'm gonna get it all set up. And then I'm going to have her, she's doing garden work right now. I'm going to have her come in here and start running this. And we're going to sneak in on her. So stay tuned. Um, Y'all look under the video. I'll put the links to these. See them bars? Look at them. Made with half inch copper, flat. And then courtesy of my buddy Robert. That's copper. <laughs> um, additional amperage. Look in the previous video. Right up there. Look up. Uh, up there all right videos on this will blow your mind very good inverter impressive under 300 bucks you can't beat these you just can't all right so i'm gonna go get this set up and we'll start in the battery area after she gets in here okay might take a while Forty-five minutes later. Hey, everybody. I just got out here, and I'm finishing doing my water check. Now, I have a huge lead-acid bank. Thousands and thousands of amp, amp hours and amp capacity. So, we're checking them. That's what you normally do. However, we've got another set of batteries that you've seen in the thumbnail, and we're going to run in and check those right quick. Okay, I'll grab my coffee here. Gotta have that. All right. Huh. Kira! Hi. <laughs> These are still going too. Uh, there's 200 watts. 16.8 amps. What'd you get on that one? 14.9? 10.7? That's a lot. Um, <laughs> still running 20 amps. Dumping the amps out. Now, nah, there we go. Everybody says, them sweet powers take a lot of juice. Look at that. Nine watts. Y'all look below the video. Just, I'm going to put the link to sweet power. Badass. Badass. This is about the LI Time batteries. And if you guys are wondering, um, especially all the subs that follow this little gal right here. Um, what? She ain't got her channel up yet. Uh, because why? We've been still, we're still dealing with creeps. Still dealing with creeps. We're, you know, we got creep problems. I mean, look at her. She don't deserve creeps, right? All right, so um, she wants to show you guys, we're going to get to the batteries, what she's doing. So this is now, now it's not, her channel is not just a knitting channel. It's all kinds of stuff, but it's the one thing it's she gonna likes. Start, it's going to start like that. Okay. So taking baby steps. She's starting slow, right? Yep. So I want to show you, this is what she made in about four days, five days time. Now this is talent, right? 
And so, a lot of new. Yeah, we're getting to the batteries. Don't panic. <laughs> and if y'all see that buy me a coffee, that's for the whole channel. And if you see the uh, Ko-Fi with John Prakira, that's for this, what she's doing. Now you tell me, did that work out good? It did. Mm. She likes that. That's what she made by herself. Mm. All right, so it's gonna be warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, for Doug, getting them ready for packaging, so you'll know. And I'm probably gonna drop the voltage to practically the shutoff point so that uh, FedEx, UPS, whoever, don't give me no hell about it. All right. These LI time batteries, they're pouch cells. I'm gonna put a little pic picture up right now of pouch cells, okay? So that's what they're formulated with. And they have a different, a, would you call it a different way of charging, Kara? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the story about them. I'm going to just take this your numbers. Yeah. She's been writing down her top charge and bottom charge before shutoffs. And now the shutoff is over here. This still has lots left to go. But these right here were just handling nearly 300. Actually, if you consider surges, way over 350 amp surge. Because it's going through a sweep power. Look what I had to do. This cable was getting hot. And it's two gauge. It was getting hot. Short. Short two gauge. Oops. And it was getting very warm. So we had to add a little four gauge, you know, old piece of jumper cable to it. Now, these things here are the minis. And let me show you, let me get all the paperwork out that we've got here. We have been going through this thing like crazy. Um, because I get a battery and I'm like, um, or, or tool, you know, that. Um, and I'm like, I'm gonna beat the hell out of it, right? So let me get that over here. Kira, get that power queen up here now the power queen is one badass battery links to these both i'll put underneath the video okay yep. if you're if you're going to do long long deep draw this has the best bms for that purpose if you're going to hit with a sledgehammer you see that's you know if you if you need like a big, big huge startup now you can do the same with these but they don't last as long on huge startups. But if you've got a slow draw, like a 1500, 2000 watt inverter, freak it all day. These will output the Rododos. So look, I'll put a link to, I'll just group them. Okay. Look down below. So this battery here came out as 209 amp hours, 0.33 in our rounded off test. Very good. These batteries, they just barely exceeded the 100 amp hour. Okay, and I mean like 100.15 accuracy, yeah, and averaged out across the board at 400 right here, they did come in at 406. I, I don't know why the difference, but it did. Maybe one battery supported longer before it's BMS shut off, I don't know. So I have not a clip of that because somebody didn't record it. This thing here just pulled two 100 watt loads, which is almost 10 amps a shot. All of this, through this, with this. And she's been running it in here a long time. And the batteries are still, what are their voltage? What's your run time now? Um, 45. How much? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. This load, all of this for 45 minutes. Okay, and that's way more than people are going to do. All right, so let me get this. I noticed that. What? I noticed that. Yeah, let's see what the voltage is right now. Okay. So DC volt, it's still at 13.26. Okay, so let me explain. Or drink it. All right. What we're dealing with with this battery is different. So most of them have a charge and power curve that's that's kind of kind of natural like that. But this one here you know, on the graph here, here hold that here on the graph here. Okay, this one's a little different. 
Okay, it's slow to start taking in charge, which if you think about that, that would be your morning sun if you're solar. So that's no hard feelings, right? Now, it's kind of charges like a cell phone battery in a way because they're also pouch cells. Now, of course, these are mega freaking pouch cells. But, and then it starts getting a high gain peak on a charge. And then as it gets around 85% of the charge, it starts to kind of take forever. You understand? So now if you look at that and you consider that your daytime and then this you're getting near your evening, your, your solar charge controllers do the same thing. Well, it, it sort of balances itself out. Now, stay there, Jared. Um, we had these cables. I'm going to lay them up here. Going straight from our big battery bank, you can see, to this over here from lead acid. They weren't bothered. I don't think the pouch cells compared to the prismatics, the prismatics will work off lead, work well, you know, you can charge with lead acid, but they're a little fussy. But the pouch cells, they didn't care, which I didn't expect. I expected them to be real trouble, okay? So I just want to give you guys some, some uh, update. I think we're now going on, where's the paperwork at, hon? Um, see, here's all our charge ratios right there. And so we're, we're going on, today is, today is, um, 418 or no it was 418 to 23 when we got these started and today is the 10th yeah. of, of june so almost two months mm -hmm. so almost two months these have been charged discharged charged discharged well they're they're um where's the other paper they're maintaining um very well that's top shut off look at that that's within a less than a tenth you see? Well, it's a tenth right there. And then down here, this is shut off because of this thing. All right. And at that point, there's the batteries are still at about 15%. And that's, that's, man, that's what you want. You want to bring these up to 95? Never don't. We just did this hundred percent because we're trying to push them. Charge these to 95, take them to 15. You'll add two freaking years to how long they'll last okay you'll get 10 years but if you don't seven and a half if you try to push them 100 percent to zero 100 percent to zero like a lot of people think they can do don't it, it, these two it's the lithium chemistry all right so this here i'm going to give a ranking of a flat a i'm not going to give it an a plus and why is that well, the problem with the A plus means that they charge the same as this. Oh. But I got a secret for you. If you have your charger, your solar charger, you're going to, instead of putting it for lithium, for that battery, for this battery, instead of lithium, I want you to put that charger on A, G, M. And why is that? Because... You see that voltage there? Yeah. That's lithium. Oh, okay. AGM is 14.40. Oh. And that would give you about 94 to 96%. Set it there. Okay. It will shut. The BMSs will shut off at that rate. A little longer, you know. But if you're installing these, you're installing them for rotating use. In other words, power going in, power coming out. And if you're not home and using power, you don't want these to peg out at 100%. Okay? There, there's something about these. They'll just be a, the, the, in fact, your solar controllers will shut off at that rate if you set it for AGM. Okay? Now, you can check your solar controller and find out, but SLA, 
sealed lead acid or applied glass mat, those settings are typically about a little lower than lead acid. And they're lower than lithium. Ten years then. Make, make your money count. All right. So look below the link. Look below the video for the link. All right. So that and that are kind of built from the same source. Okay. And really good quality batteries. Really good. Um, put a hell of a good load on it. That and that. That and that. Dad sneaking in on Kara. So, what do you tell everybody? Well, um, if you look down below the link of the video, then you can you can uh, donate to the channel and donate to our cause and like and subscribe, and y'all be good. Oh.